Aquarius Pisces Cuspers. How y'all doing? Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So welcome to your cusp reading for the month of March. Yeah, this is something brand new. I'm super happy with it. I loved doing it. This was really fun. Um, Keep in mind, time is an illusion, energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the month of March, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time, yeah? Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. For those of you that are watching for an Aquarius, Pisces, and Cusper, um, please understand that yes, while I will be speaking to the Cusper here, if what I'm saying to the Cusper resonates for your end of the equation, then please by all means take it, okay? Place this where it fits in your life, but please do not try and place it somewhere that it doesn't fit, yes? All right, so I'm just gonna be looking at the general energies for you guys for this month. I'm not looking at reading, I'm not looking at love with this reading specifically. However, if it comes out, then it comes out. I mean, this is whatever spirit wants, it's whatever spirit message spirit has for you at this time, okay? Um, I guess that's it. So let's get started, yeah? Here we go. Oh, 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 sorry. Um, for those of you that are questioning, you would be considered an Aquarius Pisces, Pisces Cusper if you were born between the dates of February 15th and the 21st, okay? So there's that. All right, let's get into this. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarius, Pisces, Cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of March, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. Here we go, guys. For my Aquarius Pisces customers, let's see what we have for you for this month. Aquarius Pisces Cuspers. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time. Okay, here we go. For my Aquarius Piscean Cuspers, What's going on for you guys? What messages do we have for you? Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Well, someone is getting a crash course in learning how to express themselves. Either to a masculine energy who is very materialistic in nature or as a masculine energy that has been very materialistic in nature or maybe even conformist in nature, now you're kind of learning the lesson or the value in expressing yourself authentically. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Two more cards, please. Spirit for my Aquarius Pisces Cuspers. Now this really could be someone, um, a feminine energy here. Shit. Shit, man. All right. At the bottom of the deck, you have anxiety. Okay. Now, what I was saying is this really could be either a feminine energy that has been involved with someone that is like a masculine counterpart, whether it's a man or a woman, we're not talking gender here, we're talking energy as always, but it has been associated with someone, maybe romantically. I do kind of feel like it is romantically because you do have the angel of love here, but it doesn't have to be. This could also be business oriented, but um, you're needing to express yourself. Someone here is needing to express themselves, whether it's a feminine energy that's romantically involved with a masculine energy that's very conformist or very controlling, very manipulative in some way, or maybe you are this masculine energy that is learning to or getting ready to or is desiring to express yourself in some new way. The problem is with anxiety here, someone, is, what's, my, what's the matter, Kaya? Everybody meet Kaya, cat butt. Yeah, hi, Kaya. Can you like get your butt out of the camera, please, Kat? <laughs> Thank you, Kaya. Silly girl. Um, someone is needing to express themselves fully, okay? And it's causing anxiety because it really could 
it could create some sort of destructive energy. Something really could get destroyed here. Put the kibosh on Kaya. You're a silly girl. Go up there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um, it could it could just change everything. That's the thing about it. All right. And that's where the resistance possibly is coming through here. This could be. Uh, this could be financially oriented. We could be talking to someone that's needing to express themselves fully in a job, take their power back. Um, but it's also it kind of feels like a level of self-respect that's needed. Yikes. Okay. But here's the thing about that. Because this anxiety is very much a nine of swords energy in like the traditional tarot. And the nine of swords is very much like a self-fulfilling prophet, prophecy type energy. So the more you fear something or the more thought you give to something, the more it's more likely it's going to manifest, right? But what you're five, five, five on the counter. But what you're being reminded of, guys, is that there are always a bunch of other opportunities. You have adjacent possibilities here. You have the angel of love. Now, we could be talking romance or we could just be, talk, be talking about angelic spiritual energies, universal energies coming through, helping you to love yourself more, to take your power back and be more authentic. Have that level of self-respect to set the record straight or speak truly, speak authentically, live authentically, express yourself authentically. Okay. And thus, there is some envy that's coming through here. Now, you could be the one who is envious because you have all these other people or you have this situation around you in which everyone else can seemingly be authentic to themselves, but why can't I? You can. Just fucking do it. And if that destroys a situation or you get removed from a situation because of it, then so be it. Because obviously it was not a place you needed to really truly be in. And if that happens, then, you, then that place or that situation, that romantic relationship, whatever, has run its course because now you've learned to be authentic. Now you've learned the value in being authentic. And now the tables can turn and they can all be envious, envious of you because you are the one who comes out on top. Victory. Even if you do lose that job, you are victorious because now you don't have to work with a, fucking, with a bunch of fucking narcissists anymore, right? Adjacent possibilities wanted to come with that. There is always a plethora of options. Underneath anxiety is goddess of the moon, which is telling you to trust your intuition. Trust your instincts on this situation because they are, in fact, guiding you correctly. Let's talk about, I'm going to clarify now. Let's talk about envy first. The, the strongest thing that I'm getting from this is business. This doesn't necessarily have to do with love, although uh, love is involved because this is love for yourself and self-respect for your and self-respect. But um, it doesn't it doesn't resonate doesn't feel so strongly with romance. Although, however, it absolutely could be. But this man holding a coin feels like a boss, or this feels like you taking your power back, being we'll say like an emperor type energy taking being the master of your own domain in a sense. All right, we're going to look at envy first and see what that is for you. One last shuffle here. Okie dokie. All right, well, first thing we have is ego with strength, but... Um, Wow. You have the nine of swords justice with strength though. And I do, I do feel like this is speaking to those, those of you that are actually feeling envious yourselves because you want to have the strength to be authentic, but you can't, or at least you feel like you can't. There's that nine of swords energy with anxiety. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. And the anxiety here has to do with Bringing justice into your life. Look, if, if you stand up for yourself in some way and that causes someone to get mad, or, mad at you, to fire you, it causes you to lose a job, it causes you to lose an opportunity, then what's so wrong about that? Why should you have to put yourself in a position to be degraded, 
to be undervalued, to be completely devalued, to be manipulated, to be undermined. Why? It's not fair to you. And let me tell you, that sets a pretty dangerous precedence. Knight of Cups, Three of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, setting the record straight. Not, not being cute about it, not beating around the bush, like getting straight to the point, straight up facts, okay? But you see, someone's got to get there. So you're going through a heart chakra awakening, Knight of Cups, okay? And this is the next step on your path. This is the next step on your journey, but you're taking this opportunity for granted. And it's not like you'll never get another opportunity to stand up for, your, for yourself and express yourself, sure. But think about the damage that you will have done or that you, have, will, have, you will have allowed, I'll say. The damage you will have allowed to, the further damage, the deepening 11.11, the deepening of the wound that's already there by not taking this opportunity that's in front of you right now to love yourself. But you see, when you, when you take the initiative and take the step to accept this cup of love that the universe is handing to you, Ace of Cups, which is that same Ace of Cups that's being handed here in the, three, in the Four of Cups. When you... Take the initiative and take up that cup and do what is necessary for yourself. You completely change the dynamic of your life. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles. You open the door for more reciprocity, more authenticity, more value to come into your life. And what this Page of Swords energy is saying to you, it's like, honey, look at the facts. Look at the facts, straight up facts, and communicate those facts. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No beating around the bush. The Page of Swords doesn't have the finesse to be tactful about it. No, they're just going to give you the straight up 100% raw dog facts. What's at the bottom of the deck? I didn't even look at that. Temperance. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Whoa, okay, well, actually, it was the Three of Cups. But underneath the Three of Cups, you needed to see this, too. Underneath the Three of Cups is Temperance. And actually, that reminds me, because this Four of Cups here has this person staring intently on those Three Cups down there that can represent this Three of Cups energy, which is kind of like a hive mind mentality or like a community type of energy. People that are all in agreement with each other, but you're not necessarily so in agreement, are you? No, because you choose to be authentic and you choose not to be taken advantage of, or at least you want to. And by choosing that, you bring victory into your life. You got to let this hive mind mentality go because it is not serving you. It's not even serving them, honey, but you know what? That's their problem, not yours. Mm -mm. Nope. So uh, to try and help ease some of this anxiety here let's look at adjacent possibilities for you yeah what is, Ooh, five of swords already off the bat the world in reverse the lovers this is a choice the ultimate choice the choice of vice over virtue. Are you going to choose this? Are you going to continue to choose this hive mind, hive mind mentality and continue to ignore the cup of unconditional love that is, spirit is trying to hand you right now? Are you going to continue to sabotage yourself in this way, five of swords, and block the completion of this situation? Keep this cycle going and going and going and going? Or... Here you go. And this is what I was feeling with that page of swords. Here's now the king of swords. Look at the facts. Be as objective as possible and make your, make your decision. So this page of swords energy could be asking you to like look, look for the facts. Look for, look to, just look at, look at what 
the, the situation truly is. Not what you want it to be, not what you want to see, and definitely not what that hive mind mentality is trying to tell you. Look at it straight up and down and then make your decision. A decision that would be in your best interest, not theirs, right? I'm curious, what's this man holding a coin energy? What is this? Ooh, the devil. Oh shit. Okay, the hermit is at the bottom of the deck now. So what I'm getting through this, even if this was, uh, even if this is just like a, a boss, el diablo, <laughs> even if this is just a five, 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 a boss, this is a karmic soulmate, but this is someone that was meant to come into your life and teach you to get you, damn, to get you to look at yourself, look deep within and find your inner... Good Lord, just throwing cards all over the place. Find your inner light so that you can express it. It's almost as if there was a karmic contract here in which some person was supposed to, so this, was, this feels really extreme, you guys. This does feel very, very extreme. But it feels like this was exactly as it was meant to be. An extreme situation to finally push you into figuring out who and what it is that you want who and what it is that you are, I'm sorry, who it is that you are, what it is that you want, and to, to freaking choose it already. Choose yourself. Stop choosing others over your own self. And as humans, yeah, we tend to have to learn the hard way, guys. I mean, it's just the way it is, all right? It is what it is, <laughs> okay? Cool, so let's close this out now for you. And let's see what we got here. Um, let's close out this cycle. Close out this reading. What do we have for you here in terms from the, um, the uh, Moonology deck? From my Aquarius, um, yes, Aquarius, Pisces, Cuspers. Last shuffle here. And you know, kind of what I'm picking up for you, I don't know if this is for all the cuspers out there, maybe this is just for those of you that I'm channeling for right now, but you find it quite difficult to be, a, a, to be an Aquarius Pisces cusper because Aquarius is such a fixed energy and Pisces is such a flowy energy. You're often conflicted within yourself. That's okay. What I just heard is you chose to be here at, at this time living this life so this is a lesson that is necessary for you to learn. This is a lesson that your soul wants, you, wants to learn. All right, so don't beat yourself up about it, okay? I never do that. I don't know why I was guided to knock on the deck like that, but there we go. Damn. Well, overall energy is a new romantic cycle begins. And this has come, I just did four readings. I did the last four of the cusp readings, and I feel like this card came out either two or three of the four times. This is a common theme. But what this feels like here is not necessarily a new romantic relationship with someone external to you. No, this feels like a new romantic relationship with yourself. Ace of Cups. Yes? Woo! This is a step. A stack, excuse me. North Node, step out of your comfort zone. Waning moon, what do you need to release? Full moon in Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture. New moon in Gemini, communication is key. First quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. And full moon in Capricorn, finally, and last but not least, the end of a tough, tough, excuse me, a tough cycle approaches. But what you need to do is step out of your comfort zone and look, in the big, look at the bigger picture here because there is something that needs to be released and you need to communicate about it. Open up that throat chakra, honey boo boo chow, and let your truth reign free. Run free, excuse me, whatever. You get what I'm saying. 
okay? There you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again, hopefully for the month of April. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.